Now moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, exactly 245 days back, we reported on the very worrying case of the charity scandal centering around self-styled journalist Rana Ayub. It's really a horrible case because the, the nature of exploitation that has happened allegedly of the poorest and the most vulnerable here is quite shameful. And we told you how this so-called journalist is being investigated by the ED for using charity funds for herself. Tonight, the charge sheet has laid bare the extent of her alleged scam. Here are the details, and then we debate. When the entire world was battling COVID and poorest of the poor were finding it difficult to make ends meet, when people were braving floods in different parts of the country, a certain somebody who identifies herself as a journalist allegedly saw it as an opportunity to cheat those in need. Enforcement Directorate has filed a chart sheet against Rana Ayub in connection with investigation into her three fundraiser charity campaigns on Keto platform, where she claimed to raise funds for COVID and flood affected, but allegedly spent the donations on herself. Enforcement Directorate in its chart sheet against Rana Ayub made some sensational revelations. Three fundraiser campaigns started by journalist Rana Ayub, all of them on an online platform called Keto. Starting from April 2020, she managed to raise about 2.69 crore rupees. But investigation reveals that she only used 29 lakh rupees. Roughly 89% of the public funds that were collected in the name of donations were allegedly misused by Rana Ayub. The enforcement director says this in black and white. Rana Ayub launched uh, the three campaigns with the sole aim of cheating the public and acquired the proceeds of crime in the form of FDs and bank balances and projected them as untainted. The chart sheet also goes on to say that Rana Ayub used these charity funds for her own personal use. When Enforcement Directorate initiated the attachment process and started the investigation, Rana Ayub used the foreign media to cry victim and evaded answering Republic questions. We have some information regarding this uh, uh, this order, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the allegation is that some of the uh, money that you collected mm -hmm. in some of the campaigns, specifically, mm -hmm. I think three campaigns was uh, used for personal expenses. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, so, wanted to get your response on that. I will not be able to respond to anything right now unless I have seen it myself. We are stationed outside Rana Ayub's resident in Navi Mumbai seeking response on the scathing allegations. But Rana Ayub has so far remained silent. With the scale of the scandal becoming public, can the lobby continue to remain silent on the charity scandal? Let's debate.